So hello everyone. My name's Mark Fitmoney, but you can call me Big Mark. I'm the showrunner for Big Mark & Co, a web design and creative agency based in Wellington, New Zealand. We focus on building content-driven websites for small and medium businesses. So when my good friend Mark Y approached me recently to talk about refreshing his website, he agreed to allow me to show you behind the scenes of the process. I built his original website a couple of years ago, but Mark's business has changed quite a bit since then, so it's time for a fresh coat of paint. We'll walk you through the first call with Mark Y, then I'll show you how I manage the project, the discovery process, the collaborative design process, followed by building the new website and Webflow, and the launch. This is part two where I'll show you how I manage the project. So I'd like to introduce you to Dexter. Dexter is a project management app that I built in Notion that I use to not only track my website projects, but any project that is related to the business. This is the HQ. I have access to all the different modules. Each of these modules are individual databases. It's fully relational which means any project can have multiple tasks and notes. I can update multiple people to each project and so on. This is the projects database. I've categorized each project into three main areas, websites, jobs, and businesses. Jobs are typically one-off projects that take place on a certain time for a set duration. So I've got a number of photo editing jobs, a couple of workshops coming up, they all get tracked here. Business projects are long-term projects that are related specifically to the business. And this is the Websites Projects module. A quick note, because I've got client projects here, I'm blurring out much of the information. Apologies in advance. I've got them categorised by where they are in the pipeline. So at the top of the page, we've got the live websites which means these sites uh, have they've been built, they're live. We do make regular maintenance on them as required. We've also got projects in the design phase and the discovery phase. I'm also building a couple of templates as well down here. So we're going to take a closer look at uh, the project we have in discovery. We click and open that up. So this is Mark Wise project here. The status, when we open it up, this is the project. The status here is where the project is in the top line. We've got a number of steps to get to a confirmed project. And once the project is confirmed, we take it through the discovery, blueprint and strategy phase, followed by a design and the build phase, followed by a series of audits, both pre-launch, launch and post-launch audits followed by making the website live. This is an active project that I'm currently working on. It's a website and it's for a... I've got a brief summary of the projects here and the number of other details, including related contacts down here. At the top of every project is a currently working on section. You can only ever be working on one thing at a time. And these are summarized in the HQ, so you can tell at a glance where we are with any single project. We have two different types of tasks. We have general tasks that are recorded here. Tasks are automatically categorized by status. Um, so I can make that in progress. That'll move that down here. I can move that back to being not started yet and it will add that back up to here. I've also got a board view here as well, uh, which is a, a more visual way of being able to see how it all works. So I can move that to here, and if we check the active, again that just makes that in progress. We've also got a bug tracker, so we can, re we can record bugs as they come up, and as we start working on them we'll make them in progress, and when they're finished we'll make them as done. I've also got a note section here, where you can just keep a track of uh, anything that's sort of related to the business. Okay. Here we have the blueprint 
And, and in the blueprint, we keep most of our project details. We've got an overview section that summarizes all of the key details of this particular project. The first contact section summarizes our first interactions and it also includes the client survey. The proposal outlines what we will send the client in our initial quote. Doesn't contain all the detail here. Most of this is recorded in our accounting software, zero. Link section will contain all the important links. So for example, to our edit workspace and to our Google workspace. So we can uh, keep track of our links quite handily. I won't click on the technical details, but this is where we track the hosting, the DNS settings and stuff like that. Here in Discovery, we document the discovery process and we develop the strategy. Here in the content section, we document and track what content is required. For clients that need photography, for example, we can put the photography brief in here, along with some example photos. I mentioned before that we've got two different types of tasks. These are the workflow tasks. They are automatically generated every website project. They are categorized by where they are in the status pipeline. We have onboarding workflow st steps. We have onboarding workflow steps, followed by the blueprint, which is where we're at now. And so, for example, when we finish the additional research, we click that, automatically goes to the bottom of the list. And we just work our way through all the, the checklist um, until it's complete. And we just work our way down. Once we've finished the blueprint, once we've finished the blueprint, we can go to the design and build workflow, followed by our series of audits. Where we've got a standard global audit, the pre-launch audits, series of launch audits, followed by the post-launch audits. Then once it's live, and we know the project is, is basically online and people can visit your website. Below we can track, uh, this is the build section. And so we start off with a sitemap, which is a description of basically how we're going to structure the project. This is just a screenshot we've taken from Figma. Um, but we've also got a way of uh, seeing how that works down here in the, in the page section. So each page is a project in itself where we can summarize detail. We can add our content, put in a design, any collection information if it has it, the metadata, and we've got a series of audits here. So we've got our global audits that, that we, we check the whole site, but each page we're looking at, uh, page by page audits, where we can look at the spelling and the grammar, can look at the structure, the responsiveness, accessibility, SEO, and CSS optimization. We track each page by, uh, again, by um, the category. So we've got static pages, got collection templates, got index pages, the legal section, utility pages, and the aspects like the style guide. We can also visually look at how the page will be developed. So, so we've got the sitemap here, but we set that up firstly here. And it just gives us a quick way to, to visualize it and move stuff around. For example, I might want to move these packages into the about section. It's just simply a matter of dragging it in there and I can visualize how it's going to look on the actual website. We won't do that because we want the packages section here and the services section over here. And at the bottom of the page, we've got the, at the bottom of the page, we've got the component section where we just uh, look and maintain at the bottom of the page, we've got the global components like the navbar, the footer and the custom code. Uh, so we can just put any information that's sort of relevant to um, each of these components here.
everybody.